In today's tutorial, we're learning how to create this cool drip effect in Canva in just a few minutes, and you can use it for any object or image that you have. And we're starting from a blank slide. Now, first we want to add the nice image of a strawberry. So go to elements and we're going to look for strawberry. This works with any topic image that you have. So we're going to click on photos, see all, and then look for a nice strawberry image. I'm going to choose this one and add it to the slide. Next, we want to look for a drip effect. We want to go to the graphics panel because we can edit those. And then you can choose whichever one you like. I'm going to go for one of the top ones, rotate it 180 degrees. And now we can see the color is not very good. So let's first adjust it somewhere around here. I think will look nice, maybe a bit smaller on both sides. So the edges, everything nicely overlaps here. This way we have the edge perfectly curling along and here a corner looks good. Now we have the two colors on top. So select one, make it white and do the same for the second color if you have to. Next, you want to press R to add a rectangle on the screen and we're going to drag it below the drip shape. So we cover the bottom part of the strawberry. This we also want to make white and then we already have the drip effect. But of course, if we now change the background color to something else, it's not looking very nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to share, click on download. You don't have to check the transparent background, but you can just download the image. And now once it's downloaded, you're going to create a new page. So I'm going to add new page and I'm going to drag in the image, select the image. And if you now change the background color, you'll see that the image still has a background. So select the image, go to edit image and background remover. And this will remove the entire background and it will also take that little drip effect as a background. Now we're going to adjust the crop marks so that we nicely fit around the strawberry. And let's look for a nice background. So go to elements and maybe we type in blue, select photos. And here we can select any image that we like. Let's go for a light blue one, position, send it to the back. And then let's increase the image of the strawberry. If you want to give it a little drop shadow that is possible, go to edit image, shadows, and click on drop. This is quite a intense drop shadow, so you can remove the distance and also reduce the intensity. I think this looks quite good. Now as a finishing touch, you can add some elements. So let's go to text, title, and let's maybe call this drip for the drip effect. Increase it in size. You can make it quite large, make it white, position, and then drag it in between the text layers. Let's add some transparency so it's not too heavy on the slide. And then we can select both elements, animate, and let's give it a pan effect. Maybe it will look cool if we reduce the speed and also select maybe the strawberry alone, pan effect, and then move the direction to the opposite side. Now I'm going to duplicate the slide, remove the elements, remove the first slide, and let's preview. And this is how you create this cool drip effect and animation in Canva in just a few minutes. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.